one. Hello folks, this is Inside the Groove, episode nine. Today we have a special guest, an up and comer, Jesse Wooji. Je- Jesse, thanks for joining. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on the show. All right, Jesse, I got a few questions for you. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, definitely for sure. What got you into racing in the first place? Um, I got into racing pretty much back in, uh, really, the first, my first time really getting on any kind of track was when I was gag racing for the street car that I had uh, from 2010 to 2013. From 2013 to 2015, I, I used to have, uh, go to different road course tracks for open track days. And then sometime around uh, 2014, I made the crazy decision that I wanted to pursue professional racing while still being in the Navy. So, um, you know, I got up and made that decision and began just networking my butt off. I uh, met, met a guy at a car show who was stock car racing, and uh, he asked if I'd be interested in trying stock car, um, you know, stock car racing. And, he, and I said, yeah, that'd be cool. So I went and did a test with his late model team in May of 2014. And then I went on deployment, came back, and was on shore duty, so I had all the legions free. Then I started pursuing um, racing. So um, I, I started late model racing in 2015. And then moved up to the NASCAR Canyon and Pro Series in 2016. Um, finished top 10 in points that year. I moved into the, um, uh, and then ran Canyon season again in 2017. And uh, now this season running Arca Series on top of that. And the goal is to continue to work up the ladder. But um, yeah, so far it's been a pretty cool journey so far. I've uh, met a lot of cool people, had a lot of great help support uh, through different sponsors like, you know, EBMC Mortgage, Perfect Hydration, and all the great folks who have been on board, um, you know, throughout the years. But uh, it's been pretty fun. Second, you're currently like you're racing in the K and M Pro Series and the Arca Series. As an outsider, what's the difference between those cars? Um, the big thing is so the cars are actually the same, uh, same chassis, same everything basically. The tires are some coming from two different manufacturers. One good year is one general tire, but the overall car is the same car. The, the, the real main difference is the um, is the uh, the engine and also the the flaps in the car to keep the cars from flipping over at high speed. Uh, but the engines that the the, the um, Arca cars have are fuel injected Elmores. The engines that the K and N cars have are carbureted um, uh, uh, Roush Yates engines. So uh, there's spec engines in both series. Um, uh, the K and N series cars make about 600 plus horsepower. Arca cars make around 700 or so. Uh, but really, that's the kind of the main difference. It's the same chassis. Um, some of these chassis are coming from cup cars. Some of them are just built specifically for Arca or for K&N. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of really the main difference. Well, you're coming off a of top 15 last week at Sonoma. How do you feel about that? I mean, that was a really good run. I enjoyed it. Um, you know, we almost had 13th. We kind of gave it our all in that last lap, had a little spin at the end and fell back to 15th. But, um, you know, it, it was still a fun race. The big thing was to go out there, run hard, run clean, stay out of trouble. Um, there was a lot of give and take. You know, there were a few times where I probably could have stuck my nose into a corner and maybe tried to pass someone. But at the end of the day, I was trying to get to the end of the race. So um, finishing that race clean is huge. Not everyone did. Um, there were some people who wrecked out. and some people who broke, who blew up. And at the end of the day, I just wanted to take care of the equipment and bring it home clean, and I knew I could have a good finish if I did that. That's pretty cool. You beat a cup driver. Alex Bowman. <laughs> yeah, we did finish in front of him, yeah. But at the end of the day, that's, that's kind of snow right there. Like, you basically, it's who's going to survive. You know, you could have the fastest car out there, but if you miss a shit on the second lap, you're going to blow up. Yeah, we saw it. Yeah, we saw that for all the If you, if you, if you over-rev it, you know, you're going to blow up if you... Um, you know, don't you if you if you don't match rev it when you're downshifting, you're gonna blow up that transmission or wheel hop it and break up axle or rear end or something. So it's all about taking care of the equipment, the whatever to take care of equipment the most, um, to stay up to speed, uh, don't get caught up in wrecks and um, you know, stay on the track and keep running to the end, those are the guys are gonna have good finishes. And we saw that Alma Ding or Sunday, but um well Jesse, thanks for joining the show once again. You're the first rival we had on the show, so that's pretty cool. Um, also, a holiday, yeah, 4th of you. July, is okay. coming up. American holiday. We we wouldn't be celebrating if it wasn't for y'all. Thank you for your service, Jesse. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, once again, thanks for joining. Peace out, NASCAR fans. This is Inside the Group, right. Episode 9.